Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG. Here we are with another lot of Magic the Gathering cards from Goodwill. Uh, before we get into that, uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already, and check out my other videos. Anyway, here we are with a lot that ended up being about $272 after tax and shipping for about seven pounds of cards in binder pages. And let's see what's in it. The big draw, and they and they wrote it up here in the title, Horizon Canopy and Sliver Legion. Um, and then down in the description, they do talk about good number of Future Sight and other older print Magic Gathering cards. So this particular Goodwill, Ventura in Santa Barbara, seems to know a bit about cards. Um, they just kind of let them go to auction as they, as they were. Very hopeful that they didn't pick through all the other stuff that you can't see behind here because that's what I'm kind of banking on that, that there's some other decent stuff kind of left behind. Um, they mention the Sliver Legion and the Horizon Canopy but they don't talk about this Pact of Negation and a Coalition Relic and some other cards that are going to hopefully add up to more than what my investment was here. Cloud Key, stuff like that so definitely like Future Sight era. Um, there was, or were two other lots um, that went with this that were actually much bigger. Um, one of them looked, I, I, I went for it, but I didn't get it. I missed it by a dollar. This is the one that I'm hopeful is going to have some good stuff hidden in here. So we're going to open up this box and check it out. Have some fun going through it and hopefully break even and then some. Let's do it. All right, let's take a sneak peek into this box from Oxnard, California. It's pretty heavy. Okay. Right on the top. Some is that Saviors of Kamigawa. And we've got some uncommons here. Just take a little quick quick peek here. Wow, that is more than a full play set of commons there so this was someone's full collection here there's some rares heartless Haidetsugo, sakiko right so we just got to go through it all and do it properly so maybe there's multiples of the big cards from the listing so anyway Let's do it the right way and start scanning them up. There we go. Okay, ready to scan. And as usual, I'm going to be removing anything from the list that is under 90 cents. And at the end, we'll total it up and see if I got what I paid for it. That's uh, always the goal to try to break even at least. So here we go. I'm going to kind of go one page at a time. I'm actually going to leave in the pages everything that is nothing super interesting. I will then probably try to turn around and sell it like as a collection on eBay and see how I do. First page here is some um, Savers of Kamigawa Uncommons. And I'm not seeing anything too great. I'm going to scan this foil. If you see something that I missed, feel free to shout it out down below in the comments. I can use all the help I can get. So, Secret Keeper as a foil is only 40 cents. I will pull it as a foil though. And singles, so nothing on that page. Moving on. Next page does have some rares. Trace of Kamigawa Heartless Haidetsugo is over 90 cents. It will go into this pile here and count towards my total at the end. Next is Sakiko, Mother of Summer. That worked a little better, a couple bucks there.
Next up. Okay, so this one has some good stuff on it, right? So this is <laughs> was seen in the listing, and hopefully there's more hidden pages like this. So Grover the Burnwells. 1225, it's come down quite a bit from its heyday. Pack the Negation, of course there's only one of those, but it's in perfectly good, almost packed fresh condition, looks like. $20.48, so that's another winner right there. Uh, Spellweather Volute, a couple bucks there. Core Lash, Air to Black Blade. 474. Put it right there. The coalition relic. But there we go. 699. Great. Heartwood Storyteller. Six bucks. And a pact of the Titan. A couple bucks there. So that was a nice page. That really jumped our total there. So we definitely need more pages like that. Next page is the Horizon Canopy that was uh, mentioned in the listing. So some future site stuff here. This is good. Horizon Canopy 4407. So right now that's a winner. Gibbering Descent, which is a card I think has come up in price a bit lately. Yeah, six bucks there. Bridge from Below. Oh, there's two Bridge from Below. So of course these were reprinted in Ultimate Masters, so they've come back down. But $5.39 a piece for Bridge from below. And we'll put two of those on there, there we go. All right, we're almost halfway there. Cloud Key, 1935. So that's one that's been kind of steadily going up, I think. Uh, let's see the dark steel edition buck 37 so we got one two three four five of those okay echoing decay there's a foil and nothing that looks too promising other than that the foil is 368 so that is a little bit of pay dirt there All right, so here are some rares from uh, Saviors of Kamigawa. So Rune Tail, Kitsune Ascendant, 650, and we got a few of those, I think. So one, two, three Rune Tails, 650 each. Okay, and we got a Twin Cast, three bucks. Eternal Dominion. Just a few. I uh, got a foil. Nico Ona as a foil. Six ninety one for Nico Ona. There you go. All right, cool. That's pretty good. We got a Sliver Legion on this page. Uh, might be the only thing that's good here. The Miss Maze is okay. Let's just pull these all out. Nimbus Maze. A little bit, 360. And a mint, there's like nothing wrong with this, Sliver Legion, which is pretty good, 82.91. So that does put us over the total paid for the lot. I broke even at least. So hopefully there's some more good stuff in these remaining pages to get me up and over. There we go. Put that one there. And a wet wheel, I don't think is gonna be much. Yeah, that's it, so. 
Oh, next page got something good. That is a foil of Chroma's Memorial. And a Vencer, so, okay. There's still some goods left in this. Sometimes it's easier to take these all out. Oh, see, the Memorial is in a sleeve. So the original owner knew that was a good one. It didn't sleeve up a Sliver Legion, because it's obviously not worth as much at that point. Vencer, Shaper Savant. Yep, $8.99. Put that one there. Miraganda Petroglyphs. Creatures with no abilities get plus two, plus two. Probably not going to be a big one. Hey, I was wrong. Four bucks for that one. So, Chroma's Memorial in foil, and it looks like it went like packed to sleeve, probably. And there is only one of them, I assume. Yeah. Let's see if we can see it through the sleeve. Yeah. Chroma's Memorial. Switch the edition. Feature site 2296 for regular foil. 8248, so there. Now we're winning. Great, so we got a Sliver Legion and a foil a Chrome's Memorial. I'm gonna put a sleeve on some of my other keys here. Slaughter pack. Slaughter packed. 349. Megas of the Moat. Hey, that's pretty decent. 790. Two Street Wraiths, three forty nine a piece on those. Calaria West is good, just one though. Yep, nine fifty for one of those. And let's see, the Sword of the Meek is 1274. Utopia Mike. Con should be good. Yeah, four twenty seven for each of those. And Dryad Arbor, so we actually got three Dryad Arbors, so that's a nice score right there. One and that, 14 bucks each. One, two, three. Now we're getting somewhere. Put these right here, sure. Veilstone Amulet. That's okay. 380 for the amulet. So Edge of Autumn. 
gosh, literally jammed in there too. This is one that has been coming up in price and no binder bin since it was in the middle. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. So there were ten jammed into that. Luckily they're somewhat loose. These pockets are nice and big apparently. Four, eight, nine, ten. So ten edge of autumns. There we go. Regular spawning pit, 229 for two of those. Um, but then this one here is a foil, so let's change it to foil. Yeah, 669 for the foil spawning pit, and we'll scan the regular ones again. Bing, bing. So a couple of those. So still doing pretty good here. Dark Steel Uncommons. Ooh, there's an Aether Vial. Well, that's a that's a pickable one. Oh, looks like there's just one. That would be great to have multiples of this. Aether Vial. There it is. The best Dark Steel Uncommon you could hope for. All right, I get a sleeve for that. Uh, let's see, skull clamp, that's good. Yep, 567 for that one. I guess Grimoire. 255. Back to Betrayers of Kamigawa Commons and I don't see anything here that's promising. Let's see, Ninja of the Deep Hours. Oh, let's see, let's get the right edition. Trades of Kamigawa, still under 90 cents, but I will pull them. There's a bunch of these two. There's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven of those. They're gonna go right here. Get this on camera. And then a Mistblade Shinobi. I, I always think this is, but I guess it's actually not. Hey, I was wrong, those are a buck, okay, great. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. This right here is the last page. And it is some Dark Steel Uncommons. And they don't look too exciting. We've got a foil thunder staff, which is 49 cents. So that's it. Okay, so now the actual total is $570 on a $272 investment. Ended up with some pretty heavy hitters. The Chromos Memorial was actually a surprise. Uh, these two were known. I didn't know there was an Aether Vial in here, so I was happy to find that. Um, good stack of stuff that's over 90 cents. Good stack of stuff that's under 90 cents. That'll still buy a list for something. So anyway, that was uh, today's fun, right? So. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Tragic MTG. Catch you later.